Hello, my name is Emily Fortuna. Hi, I'm Andrew Fitzgibbon. And we are developer advocates at Temporal. And today we're going to be talking about how to write a compensating action design pattern in Temporal using TypeScript. Or Groot. Hooray. So um, for those of you that are not familiar, compensating action design pattern is useful if um, dealing in the world of microservices and um, you are doing something that if something went wrong, you might need to undo. A good example of that is like transferring money. So if you have taken the money from one account and you're going to deposit it, but you can't reach the place to deposit it, you don't want this money to just go into the ether. Right. Yeah. So if that other deposit place is a different bank account, bank uh, altogether, their API isn't maybe working for sending money. Or you just have the wrong bank. Or you just have the wrong bank. ID right. number, you know, anything. Got to put the money back. Yes. So that's where a compensation would come into place. Um, and, but it doesn't mean everything you need to do needs to compensate. Um, if you're sending like an email, right. um, once you send it, you can't really undo that. You can try. You've seen those undo send emails or like someone's Delay, so requested Yeah, it, it doesn't back. actually send it yeah. until five seconds or whatever. Right. But. but that's not quite the same as what we're talking about. Yeah. Or I mean, if that's the case, then you would try and cancel it. Yeah. Got it. But yes, different API. Different API. The standard email. You don't really do um, yes, so in, today we're going to be making breakfast. Yummy. And um, to do that, breakfast is very simple. We are getting our bowl, we are adding cereal, and then adding milk. And potential compensations for that is um, you dump the cereal back in the box and pretend <laughs> that you never handled it. No, nope. it was always there. <laughs> <laughs> Never came out of the box. <laughs> yes. Um, and then you put the bowl away because it is perfectly clean. Mm -hmm. No crumbs at all. Yes. Um, and so these would be cases where, like, um, maybe I took the bowl out but then discovered that I don't have enough cereal um, and need to put that back. Or I pour out the cereal and discover it's the wrong cereal. Or I pour out the cereal and discover there's no milk. Ah, yes. Yeah. So these are the reasons that I would want to call these compensating actions. Yep, exactly. Cool. Um, and so each of these functions are um, activities in the temporal world. Um, in temporal world, we've got a workflow, which is kind of our high level logic of things. And then the activities are doing the meat and potatoes of right. the actual doing the work. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So. Um, in our workflow, we're going to be calling each of those activities. So let's start with just the basic steps here. So um, we've got get bool, and it's asynchronous, so we want to await it because yep. we don't want to don't want to get the cereal at the same time as we're getting the bowl. Pouring the cereal not ready. on the table is bad nope. news. So await our get cereal, and then await get milk. Or is it add milk? I think it's add milk. Because I didn't name my API consistently. Good job, Emily. Well done. Did I, oh, little I thing? think it's add cereal since I did that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it is consistent. Just <laughs> sort of. Yes, bowl. yes. Add bowl. It's kind of weird, but. True. Um, add okay. bowl to counter. <laughs> so we've got our three steps, but we don't handle failure. We don't put our bowl back. We just leave the bowl on the counter because. Um, so let's add our, uh, our comp, well, first, um, we want to execute these compensations in the face of failure. Okay. So let's wrap it in a try catch statement. Okay. Cause that's going to tell us a failure has happened. Yes. So get rid of that. Catch. Exception. And then, um, and then here's where we'll do our compensate. Yes. And why is my indentation not working? Great. Um, okay. So uh, now, how do we know what compensations to run? 
Uh, right, so oh, how, do, how do we know what to do to put the bowl back or yes. put the cereal back? Uh, so we've got those functions. The question is when to call them, right? Yes. So um, I have the start of my, it's, you see I've coded a lot here already. Um, I just have the shell of a function called compensate, which is what we will, um, we're going to not worry about compensating a parallel for now. Um, we're gonna, I'll just call this, um, so call compensate, okay. um, oh, and we want to await, and then, um, we're going to, uh, have our, um, our list of functions. So what we want to do, just to be, maybe I jumped ahead of myself, um, we want to keep track of these. Um, put bowl away, put cereal back in box. Um, and, and the reason we're keeping track of them rather than just, um, I don't know, because I, I could see one version where we wrap each one of these get bowl, add cereal, add milk in their own try catch, yep. and then have their own compensate function within that catch, right? Yes, but um, that could very quickly get messy if you got a lot of compensations, because okay. like... So we say get bowl and that succeeds or like maybe doesn't. So first you have to try catch. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to the next one, if you go to add cereal, that has to be inside the try catch. And then you wrap that inside another try catch. Um, we get progressively more nested try catches to make sure that we uh, compensate for everything that we need to yes. compensate for. So yeah, you okay. could do that. Mm, seems it gets a little unwise. gross. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just not so pretty. So instead, we're gonna keep um, like a stack, okay, um, of references to the functions we want to compensate. So it's it's kind of in some ways then like a a, a log of what we've done or need or log need of what we to need undo. to do undo to get back to. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um. So to do that, um, let's make a. You see, I not there. Um, I define this compensation as um, just a lambda that can a, a awaitable something to be executed in, yep. that can execute in the future, and so can, thing that can run to do stuff. Yes, we're calling it a compensation. Yes. Um, so let's make a list of these compensations. So let's say. Um, um, compensations, and we will say of type compensation. I can type, um, that's the type, and then we are initializing it to just be an empty little By bit. default, there's nothing to compensate for because nothing's happened. Correct, correct. Okay, so, um, let us add our first compensation here. So we'll say compensations, um, we're gonna do it like a stack. And then we're going to add this um, uh, put bowl away. And remind me why we're doing the compensation, adding the, the compensating action before the thing that we're actually compensating for. Yes. So um, so internally, um, we're keeping track of like has get bowl completed, um, and that, so that like. We know, um, so let's say the bulk of get bowl, say we've gotten the bulk, and then we maybe do some other other thing in the activity, like okay. close the cabinet. Mm -hmm. um, I guess that's something you might want to undo, but like something, talk to your partner, <laughs> so <laughs> it's not really undoable, um, is, is in the get bowl function. Um, so we get the bowl, but we haven't done that other step. Or yeah. maybe we just haven't even recorded that we completed that function. That could be. Um, so we fail then, halfway through. Yes, yeah, so we fail halfway through, but we have the bowl out. Um, now we have a problem because if this is not first, then um, our program is like, cool, well, get bowl hasn't executed so completely. So we don't need, there's nothing has, if this isn't, let's put this here. If we get through this and at the very end crash, mm -hmm. um, then we jump down to here, but 
there's nothing in there. But the put bowl away hasn't has been, been added registered. to the compensations. Yes. Got it. Um, now, because though it's possible, like, what if we crash between this line and this line? Then we jump down. That's why we have this if present because there uh, is the chance okay. that like we get to this and like there actually isn't a bowl. So it's a little Yeah, annoying. so something happens right before we actually pull the bowl out and the bowl's still there in the cabinet, we don't have to put it back. Yep, yep. Um, okay, so we've done that and then we add our second, um, let's see, put cereal back in box. Mm. Oh yes, line. thank you. Yep, cool. Um, great, well that's all that's here. Okay. Let us Do we implement... need to add the compensations to the as an argument to the compensate? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Now we'll know what to compensate. So let's implement compensate. So um, this is just looping through that list and okay. being like calling them. Yeah. It's pretty basic. Okay, so compensations. And then um, we'll just say await compensation. Now we we can wrap this in a try catch just in case something happens and the compensation fails. Cool. And I don't know why my auto indent is not working. And then just say we we could raise it, but we've already we're already here in a error state so i'm just gonna you can do whatever you want i'm choosing to log right so we we could do something like oh it failed let's go back and keep trying um or something like that just to make sure we've definitely compensated yes but, this is a very... but maybe maybe we want to log something so that an actual human can go and look at the process to put the bowl away themselves or something along those lines yeah by the time we reach here we're already in an error state so we kind of want to have this original error we could okay. like append to the error that could work um but i'm i'm just not um so they oh need you need to, to export, ex export yes, the types in there thank you and the function great yeah uh, is happy or the import is happy yeah hey okay right. well then let's run it and give it goes can you yeah. go back to the code real quick yes the compensations file do we need to call the comp function <laughs> duh <laughs> we <laughs> noticed that earlier <laughs> it'll it'll yes. just happen we'll, yes. we'll await the definitions the reference of the function forgot that business yeah. uh, um, yes okay thank you Okay. Oh, there you go. All right, Great. so added, blah, blah, blah. Cool. Now let's um, Simulate insert. Simulate failure. Insert failure. Activities. So, um, ooh, is it braids? No. Uh, I think TypeScript is throw. Throw error should work. Error. <laughs> we are pirate errors. Okay, um, so workers reloaded it. Yep, I think so. Okay, so, uh, Aha. added these things. Yep, but then we get our activity failed with your error, and we had to put everything back. Yep. And so we have correctly compensated for the error. error. <laughs> so um, there you have it. Uh, as you can see, um, adding compensations, pretty easy. Uh, we have the link to the full code, including parallel compensations, in the description below. So um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.